Ark Survival Ascended is here, and beyond all the amazing visuals, there's actually a ton of new features that maybe you don't know about. So in this video, we're gonna be going over 10 of those, and go ahead and drop a sub if you wanna see more content. We now have the ability to quickly switch between different ammo types by holding down R, you're gonna get this tiny little menu right here, and as you can see, I've got a couple different ammos that can go into a crossbow, so let's switch to the grappling hooks, and all you gotta do is wait for them to be reloaded, and you can use them immediately. I absolutely love this. Um, we can actually also go ahead and craft our ammo types from here as well. If you have the materials in your inventory, you can go ahead and just click and queue up a couple like that. Uh, but additionally, on top of that, we also have the ability to actually switch between attachments as well as the ammos, of course. So let's go ahead and put on a scope on our long neck, or maybe now I want to put on a silencer. Boom. It's as simple as that. And of course, you can switch between your different ammos from here as well. You just got to wait for them to reload, and then you're good to go. It's now possible to access your shoulder pets inventory without having to drop them down and you can do this by holding down R. You're going to get these options right here. You click on access shoulder pet inventory and boom, we have access to this inventory. This was previously only available on the cinema crops in Survival Evolve, but obviously here it's available on all sorts of shoulder pets. Now, you may be wondering, how is this useful? Well, really quick, take a little look at this weight of this wood in my inventory. It weighs 50. Let's go ahead and pop that into its inventory. As you can see, it still weighs 50, but pay attention right there it only weighs 25 for me now so anything that you put inside of here will be halved in weight for you but not for it so basically what you want is you want a shoulder pet with really high carry weight and obviously from here as well you can have the option to throw them off your shoulder now i did test it out and see if it was possible but unfortunately otters are still the only shoulder pet that are able to carry artifacts in their inventories no other creature in arc can actually do this besides the otter i really hope that they change that and maybe make it so all sorts of creatures can actually do that as well There's there's now a new option to track some craftables on your screen while you're running around and to do this you want to come into your inventory and then right click on something and you can click the track option it's going to pin it over here on the side you can actually do this with up to three different recipes and uh yeah it's basically going to tell you when you have enough to craft something the only unfortunate part is it's not actually possible to craft it unless you go back into your inventory which is a little silly and i feel like that's a mistake so at some stage they'll probably add an option and i'll make sure to update the description of this video with that information of how you do that but uh yeah currently it, there is no way to do that it does tell you how many you can afford which is kind of nice and to get rid of these craftables you can just click this little bin or you can click this option right here which will clear them all out at once they've added an option where you're going to be able to end your own life and arc by hovering over your implant for five seconds you can see that timer is counting down once it gets down to zero we're going to have the ability to actually go ahead and respawn and this could be useful if you're in a cage or if you're stuck somewhere and let's go ahead and do that They've added a new fast inventory option where you can access everything in your inventory directly from your hotbar. By holding down Q, you can activate it, and you're going to get the smaller hotbar of just 8 slots. But as you can see, we've got many different pages, which you can cycle through by either hitting 9 or 0. And this is everything in my inventory. This is super handy. Tools, weapons, foods, structures, absolutely everything that can be on the hotbar will be on your hotbar if you have it in your inventory. And um, yeah... I can I could definitely see this one being super useful. You might be like a builder and you have that one thing that you can't fit onto your 10 slot hotbar. Maybe you're using 11 different structures. Go ahead and just activate it. Or maybe, you know, you might be a PVP head and you want to quickly switch weapons or or maybe grab some sort of soup or something like that. You can do that by just doing this instead of having to stop open up your inventory, find whatever you're looking for, and then use it, you know? I, I definitely think that something like this is going to be a real big game changer, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to make things more streamlined and everything, and yeah, I really like it. Now, the only things that you won't find on there are things like armor, which could never be on your hotbar, but also resources that can't be on there, like gunpowder or maybe keratin can't be on there, but you will, you will find things like chitin on there because that is used for a passive tame, and uh, yeah, I think that this is super handy. I really enjoy it, and you can also get rid of it by holding down Q. You're going to get your normal hotbar back afterwards, so yeah, super handy. So the bola got a new update, and you're going to be able to tell now whether or not it's possible to trap something with them, so yeah. There we go. We got them. And as you can see, we get that yellow symbol when it is already bullet. So right now you can see it's still yellow and that's because it's on that cooldown between bolas and it's able to be bullet again. And this is what it's going to show you when you're not able to use it on something. And this is a really strange one to me. I really thought this would have worked. Interestingly enough, this also works for the chain bola, which most things are able to be bolded with. The map has gotten a significant upgrade, and if you hit M, it will come up like this. And as you can see down in the bottom right there, we have the coordinates of exactly where you are standing. Now, this is great and all, but we can also hold M, and that's going to give us the ability to zoom in and out 
of the map and we can also double tap M and that's going to bring up the map menu inside of your inventory and from here we can actually set waypoints and look around the whole map just freely so to set a waypoint we want to just double tap somewhere and then we can essentially name it whatever we want change the colors if we need to and yeah it's pretty cool additionally we can also hide our death markers and our waypoints and any other dinos or anything else you might be tracking and i guess the last little thing is wherever you're looking at on the map right now is going to show you the exact coordinates of that location we now have the option to edit the dino cam if you're in third person mode you hold down left alt and it's going to bring up this little menu right here if you zoom in it's going to bring the camera in a little bit tighter and if you zoom out you're going to get a good scope of the whole area and um yeah just in general i feel like this is pretty nice it's definitely going to be something that people will probably find a preference for but um yeah you can also hit c to reset it back to default and then left alt to put that away and um yeah i definitely think that's gonna be a pretty useful one for sure there's now a new option for torches where you can actually attach them to your belt and pretty much go hands-free for your light source so you can actually go around gathering things but the only issue is it's in a bit of an odd spot not so sure about that open flame right there especially when i'm crouching yeah that doesn't look very comfortable it's also possible to paint the flame of the torch and that's on region 5 and the result is really cool and of course you can go fire crotch with it as well they've completely removed all of the different pipe work and now all you need for irrigation in your base is just having an intake nearby you can see that there is a big range and anything within this range is going to be irrigated let's place one right on the border over here and one outside of it and as you can see this one is in so it's irrigated this one is out so it is not irrigated and obviously this is going to work with your crop plots too we just got to give it a sec on top of that they actually also removed all the cables and now all you require is a generator with some fuel inside of it to be turned on and it's going to power absolutely anything within this radius and it even works on forges and chemistry benches and you don't actually need to have gasoline in them anymore you just need them to be powered which is a really good change so which one of these changes is your favorite i have to say for myself i'm a big fan of the ammo switching one that seems very very convenient also if you have any other secret little changes that you have noticed please let me know we might actually follow up this video with a quality of life changes video because there's so many other tiny little additions that need just a little bit of attention but as always if you guys want to see more like the video subscribe do all that good stuff and i will catch you in the next one